God, this was a scene that was not scripted. <coughs> that was not on a schedule. So when the people responsible for scheduling and the other producers, uh, line producers showed up and I was shooting the, the morning of this and still had all my other workload and said, it's really important that this be buried. Mm -hmm. Uh, Harks back to the very first Absolutely. episode. Yeah, they went, well, what are we going <clears> to <throat> do? We're like a half a day behind. And This is how things are retarded on movies. These guys showed up. They actually couldn't play drums, and they had no playback for them. <laughs> so there was no sound recording. So this was all post-sunk afterwards with all the drums, even those guys beating them. They, were, they didn't know how to play them. That's so funny. They probably spoke different languages too, right? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> This is Gabriella. She's on her road to become Xena. See, we thought we'd do Gabrielle Warrior Princess after this, and it just never got picked up. <laughs> we went out of our way, set it up. This was, um... I wanted to do this massive explosion, and did. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's a good thing about being me. <clears throat> that's, that's a good thing about directing. <laughs> uh, that's right, you got away with the producers. Yeah, some. Eventually, everybody runs out of money. But, um, and they got this right. They put the wind fans to give that kind of suck and surge. Uh, mm -hmm. Something I talked about endlessly, and it finally worked. I was not in good shape for this, I must say. Just physically wasn't what I needed to be to hack it, because it was really hard. H hard hours on this one, like everything. What's kind of fun about this sequence, it's all digi 95% digital arrows, even hitting the trees and that, and uh, it's great. they really, they worked. Yeah, get the little ping, you know. Mm -hmm. Why are you shaking your head, Lucy? Oh, I don't know. I just wasn't fun for you. I was so you. mental. Yeah, this, through this, this was tough. Yeah. yeah. And I never liked that stunt doubling because I thought it was too st stiff and sort of. Um, and I don't often say that. I don't think I've ever said that before. But going for it Show here, and then when I'm walking forward, being hit by arrows. Uh huh. Oh, I love doubles this doubles that you're being knocked around a bit. Yeah, well, you watch, you watch. Oh, he's always bothered me. We're going to be together. Oh, and we had to come back and shoot this again. Do you remember? <coughs> I just didn't have enough like footage. On a Sunday or something. Yeah, I didn't have enough footage of her going through. I got like two runs before. Can I do this again? Well, we and just we picked up more footage. Oh, okay. But you, just, I just didn't have enough footage. But you had to do the fight again. We had to come back on a Sunday. Try to remember the fight. Yeah. Well, well, it was just, just a line, oh, just okay. slashing through lines of stunties running. <clears throat> I always love seeing fabric on camera. Me you too, know? but man, oh man, oh man, is it hard and slow to shoot. Really? Why? What's so hard? Oh, because it, it, it never, never moves. You know it, never, <laughs> <laughs> it never does like it oh, does in the, the paintings. Oh, the shampoo commercial. never gets the dramatic billowing effect. Yeah. There we go. Chinese get it somehow. <clears throat> that looks great. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's the best of a hundred takes. Yeah, yeah, best of a hundred takes. <laughs> this was the opening to Zoe Bell's Double Dare, showing her doing this stunt. The stunt woman who did the gag here was a, has had her three or four years of stunting chronicled. And, uh, in a movie called Double Dare. Mm. I, I remember reading this, Rob, the first time and just laughing at how great it was <laughs> visually on the, in, on the page. And just... Everybody outdid themselves with their hair and makeup and the costumes, didn't they? And the set design. Mm hmm. Yep. Really well done. God, that looks so good, doesn't it? This is another s studio set. Just that massive forest, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Waterfall. Where it was, 911 or something? 911, you're right. The end of an era. This was um, a horror producer failing to make, a, <coughs> make it as a horror director. This scene never got a scare. <laughs> so, um, but you have to be up close for that. And you do, and the audience had no reason to fear that she was going to run into the bad girl and who would cause trouble for. Anyways. Could it have been darker? Did it need to be darker? Would that have helped? 
to have a sense of the unknown. And, and why is Zena surprised to see it? Mm. That was a bad choice because that here? was. I was so worried about What's she doing here? Because she's in the land of the deed. But you saw Zena walk running past. I know that was. That was their sense. I remember this being a big conversation, whether or not she could take it, whether or not she tries to take it and drops it, or, you know, or... Right on the day. Mm -hmm. Remember that? She was gonna, it was just gonna drop through her hand, right. So, I mean, all that you were trying to work out. Her dad, she we never really... where Gabrielle finds out she's dead. Yeah. yeah. See, Zena really doesn't know at this point that she's... Can't come back. Right? Can't come back. Mm, that's right. So this is, this is like any other adventure. <clears throat> right. Uh, she does. It's Gabrielle. He's working with me. I feel like I would do so much differently now. Mm -hmm. Me too. I know, I know. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. But, you know. It's meant to be. This episode, from a script point of view, got hurt because we screwed around with that musical and threw it out. So you didn't have time to work on this one? Yep. Yep, at eight. And the audience never understood this story point that that jingle, if it hits the ground, would call Yadoshi. And Zena was trying to stop it from kling a ling a ling on the ground. But um, anyways, we got a good jump out of it. This was a scene that we I didn't direct. Yadoshi to us when we're ready. That Mr. Mark Beasley directed. Mm -hmm, I remember. And I thought he did a great job in it. He, uh... <laughs> She's my soulmate. She's a poet like you, Akemi. Yeah, it was funny because um, I remember working with Mark on this, but it's like we had already started on this huge project, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, he was coming in for a couple days, but the ball had already started rolling. Right. With Because it, it was eight weeks long? Six weeks? Shooting? Yeah. No, 18 days. 18 days? <laughs> I hate to say it. It felt like it. God, yeah. It's like, you, you know, emotionally, you were so invested in the episode for a while, you know, that it was just so easy to go to work and pick it right back up. I say that because I remember Mark trying to kind of give me some backstory. <laughs> like, right. I'm all right. <laughs> Mark, I, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> I had so much fun this evening. I know it was cold and wet, but... I felt guilty. He sure I did. Know. He would come home and bemoan the fact he had to get you out there again. It was, it was, you know what, after the abyss, nothing, nothing could get as miserable as the abyss. And uh, at least I was wearing some clothes, you know? <laughs> Wet clothes. <laughs> I was like, I was grateful. <laughs> I have a couple layers on. And I loved working in the rain in this scene, you know, because it just, again, it just takes away all the, <laughs> the, uh, Amazing. took away every sort of, Anything I was thinking about just takes you right All to that moment. Now. Yeah. I remember re adding this later. Yeah, the close -up. that's it. The wanting to vomit. Yeah, right. Oh, I don't know dear. why we did it, but we brought back Polly as the body double for this. So that's Polly. Yeah. Because I was working. Right. Other things. This is a different unit. And yeah, this had... is a different unit. And the other body just doubles working in the other units, right? I yeah, guess. Everybody working. was working. No, we had like five units. We somewhere. easily had three most of the time. Yeah. I think there was a fifth one picking up something crazy at one point. <clears throat> it's oh. like a day and a half. Right. I just remember this whole scene was scheduled for a half of a night. Uh oh. Half a night they didn't get the water trucks working right. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, that's right. God, that's right. We had to come back. That's right. <laughs> Just came back and back. It's funny because I wish I had played this scene. So Joan of Arc. I wish I had. I, I know. Had set it up differently. I know. I oh not you. I mean, but what to have him just stepping into the back? Yeah. And I, I wish I hadn't played. I wanted to play it more like I was trying to set him up to lose it. You know what I mean? I wanted him yeah. to lose his. It was all about his dignity and his pride. You know, that's why he won't let me. Or no, what is it that he wants me to kill him? I'm getting confused. Right. So you wanted to I wanted to I wanted him to make the first move or something. I was trying to set him up to start the fight. Uh, whether it's that he was gonna lose control. That's right. It's or kind of a chicken. It's a game of chicken. Yeah. He, he's gonna blink and freak out and strike first. But I remember later you saying that um, you were saying you thought it was like hope. A little bit like hope. Oh you know? right. And that threw me and I was like, oh dang, you know, it's the last thing I want. This seemed a little oh, cleaner. Then this is really chicken, isn't it? Oh, that looks good. 
Yeah, this Well, not chicken. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. Once again, this is a scene you, you just wish that you had the proper amount of time to... Yeah. This is a much longer scene in the other version with the sliding and the slipping and the... Yeah, you're very specific about what you wanted here, I remember. I... About, uh... You what? know what? I never got it in my mind. Well, I felt it. You know what I mean? I knew. Oh, I knew exactly. Oh no, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. But all your, the, your um, research into the the ritual of this fight, right. and um, what you wanted in the performances. I think we, you know, you were so clear on it, like like a week before or something, and we did this rehearsing for the fight. Right. And it was so clear to me. It was great. It Just, was the non-fight that was going to take forever. It's yeah. All the lead up to that one blow. And that sense of control and, and in the culture as well. So fascinating. That's right, because we actually, in the other, had long. Because that's what it's all about, is the suspense, isn't right. it? Right. Yeah. It actually works better and longer. I bet. I wish I hadn't, as a, given him that makeup. Somehow. Mm, too much of a mask, eh? Yep, too much of a mask. Or just made him pallid with a um, yep. circle under his eyes or something. So easy when somebody shows up and you go, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. Looking for something different. Yeah. This poor gentleman had all this exposition in his dying scene. It explains what has to happen the whole rest of the movie. <laughs> the whole plot, everything. And he couldn't could hardly speak English. Oh, yeah. No. And just, oh, the poor guy. <laughs> I kept saying, you got to pick up the pace a little bit through here. It's important, but... Oh, that's a giant blue screen. That's a, remember? Oh, oh right I do. Of course I do. Yes. Yeah. Here's Renee yeah, on a 2 by 4 That looks like a huge mountain. Yeah. It looked like a It did. It looked mountain. great. Oh, man. It was a big fall. Yeah, it was me on a 2 by 4 That's right. With yep. four guys. <laughs> Which four made no sense. Really use them, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's pissed now. I will not allow you to find a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I had a great time doing this fight. Just because there's so many different levels to it, you know, on the ground and then going up the rocks. God, it, it's another one of those things where you, I just wish I had more time to... Yeah, because we never could do the rock stuff. Chloe kept being behind me. Oh, <clears throat> she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Really? You can't yeah. have her jumping on the rocks. I went, Renee will say if she's got a problem. So was this, this guy was a fighter or something? He well, was, but... <laughs> The stunt man laughed at him. This is me getting so lucky that that actually worked. We did it like ten times and and the f on rehearsing, but then yeah. the first one, the take, was yeah. perfect. He was Lucy. I think he was supposed to be a kickboxer from Australia, right. but um, in the end, I think in the um, choreography, some of the choreography wasn't working for him. He didn't, and they used no. Glenn. Lady. They used Glenn for everything. Yep. Oh yeah, the old double. I don't think Xena gets thrown twice here. And that whole bird's nest thing, although I've gone into it before, was something I still am mad at myself for getting talked out of. What, because the ashes fell into the bird's nest? And then when, when I wanted to have a bird in there, that as Gabrielle's climbing down, that bird keeps trying to nudge that vase out of the... <laughs> right, that was funny. <laughs> and everyone said, it'll be... It's too silly. Yeah, the old double knock got knocked out here. So there's actually. That's a great shot for a, a <laughs> matte painting. Zena. I remember the um, puff of smoke inside my blouse being a, an issue, huh? Oh my God! I remember <laughs> shooting that and shooting that and trying to get it to hang. Trying to get more smoke to stay in there. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you girls made me shoot this. Uh huh. I didn't want to. <laughs> I, yeah. Now kiss her! Kiss her! Kiss her! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That looks great. Very cool. That, it's all CGI, Beautiful. right? All of it? No. You, um, of course, the... It's real trees and a bit of real fire. And of course, the day we went to shoot all that, it was blowing 40 knots and raining like hell. So you can and just it. couldn't get the fire going. But that's all real fire. 
Except the foreground pieces. So, <clears throat> yeah, okay. When in doubt, flame it up. This fight is better than I remember it, actually. I kind of remember it as being, I mean, it's... It got shortchanged a bit, and there was a huge other portion of this fight where you become different elements that got, just got cut out. Couldn't to, do it, yeah. yeah. Well, we actually shot it. Paul Brinder, the second unit guy, really? shot a bunch of it, and it just, um, it didn't work. Uh, just didn't work. And it was a massive, it was another 80 effect shots that the guys never would have got done. <laughs> you can see that that's not the actor. I know. Shane Dawson. This poor actor was already in the hospital. <laughs> Ow. He, he tore something walking to the set also. I think, what, did he break something? Yeah, he broke his, um, oh my God. broke his ankle yeah. slipping in the mud walking to the set. I always yeah. feel like those things happen because those people are scared. So. Scared to, you know, tackle it. And I don't blame them. So he actually came to the set in a wheelchair for his close-ups. Poor guy. Yikes. I love that he comes back What here. is he doing here? Do you still want to fight it? Right. Dignity. That is funny. She's going to help him out. I remember you're wanting my day. I have a different throwing style throw, yeah. than Xena. Absolutely. A warrior is born. Oh, that gave me a little tingle. I was so glad George was able to roto all this and make it work going front and back because. Yeah, it looks great. Circular yeah, because like it that. wasn't even on, uh, on a green screen. We just shot it on location. <clears throat> mm. With the fire, too, in the background. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's tough. Laying those effects over. Yeah, he had to roto all you because I ran out of time. <laughs> but for those souls to be released into a state of grace, they must be avenged. In this episode, you never even see Xena learn that information in this short version. I know, it's horrible. It's a terrible cheat, eh? Yeah, it's really a cheat. <laughs> see, I felt lucky as a director to get to shoot this moment, though. Yeah? Yeah. That's nice. I felt lucky to do it. It's, I always see that it's nightfall and we've just pumped in these giant lights to make it feel like yeah. it's... All <laughs> oh, right. It's like the sun had set an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And I love this piece of music for some reason. Always. It's real Hercules music, isn't it? No, I, no it's been in a hundred Xena episodes, and uh, Joe had written another big piece for this, but I, this was in the temp, and I went back, said I want to play this, so he wrote a little bigger score. I want to see you fall over at that moment. I know, I know. But I remember that being such an, an issue, you know, again. Oh, it was a huge no, issue. I couldn't move. And nobody said to do it. They said, oh, it's never going to work. It's never going to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this That's has nice. a little different, this is has different <laughs> Gabrielle at the end on the boat. Um, it's just a different moment. It, oh. I, it doesn't personally for me play as well. What? This one? What do you mean? This one, and I'll sh you'll see the difference. What do you mean, different from what, other takes? Different from the longer version. When I went in on that longer version and uh, re-edited this little beat. Oh, really? And to the place where I'll Well, yeah. So it's that Weekend at Bernie's, right? Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Do, 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 do. And thus ended Xena, Warrior Princess.